Four years ago, the city of Cleveland, Northeast Ohio, was devastated. Can we all agree that with LeBron making the decision and leaving, it was heart-wrenching. Not because he left, goodness knows, we've had tons of athletes leave Cleveland before, but with LeBron it was different because we saw him grow up here. We saw him play in high school and we saw him coming into his own and his, to his manhood, into his superstardom. And when he left without acknowledging that love, without acknowledging that, that passion that we had, without thanking us, we were devastated. And that's when the jersey burning started. And that's when the booing began for the last four years. And yet, it shows that Northeast Ohio has the opportunity and does forgive with appreciation, with acknowledgement, with gratitude. Because LeBron came back with humility, with grace, and with no fanfare other than a letter that he posted on SI, sportsillustrated.com. And I just want to read a short portion of the letter in case you haven't heard it. Because I really think that it sums up a lot of what we're talking about here today. Because no one ever cared where I would play basketball. I was a kid from Northeast Ohio. It's where I walked. It's where I ran. It's where I cried. It's where I bled. It holds a special place in my heart. People there have seen me grow up. I sometimes feel like I was their son. Their passion can be overwhelming, but it drives me. I want to give them hope when I can. I want to inspire them when I can. My relationship with Northeast Ohio is bigger than basketball. I didn't realize that four years from now, four years ago, I do now. So see where that transition goes from acknowledging our hurt and bringing us back to the present right here where we can be grateful starting right now. But this is not about the roster or the organization. I feel my calling here goes above basketball. I have a responsibility to lead in more ways than one. In Northeast Ohio, nothing is given. Everything is earned. You work for what you have. I'm ready to accept the challenge. I'm coming home. And so with open arms, arms out, as if he is taking Northeast Ohio into his arms in a big hug, he is wrapping us in his embrace. Let us look at this lesson of being able to leave the past behind, the past hurts, the past lack of acknowledgement, the, black, the past lack of graciousness, and starting today to heal those relationships. And we can do that through gratitude. 